A real nigga said you bigger that you ready to buck. You catch the knots for my nigga Freddy Fox. Tupac was Tupac was one of the probably the most diverse MC I know. Like as far as his talent and ability, passion was his drift was driven by passion for hip hop and expressing his, his views through the music. A lot of cats don't know how to do that. When, you, when it's time to express your views through the music, they get stuck at the murder kill part, but they don't tell you the reason why they saying it that way. You know what I'm saying? The uh, life of a young hustler and all that shit. You start talking about the hustling part, but not why you hustle. Pac knew how to match all of that. Pac knew how to... I got letters I got letters he wrote me in my bag in the trailer right now with his name on them to me, with, with my address. Like, when he was locked in jail, I keep them with me. The original letters, I keep them with me. And I read them sometimes to remember some of the poignant things he would say. Like, every letter he finished said, he said, we ain't thugs no more. And my boat, my biggest fear, if I die, is coming back reincarnated. We boss players. Salute to Pop. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there were too many misconceptions about him. I think that people thought he was one way, like just a hardcore fighting arm fighter. But they didn't know how intelligent he was. That was how powerful his message was. His message was so powerful that people got stuck on that. You know, I, I think I suffer from that myself. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people don't know that, you know, that I know how to build, I build studios. I know how, anything technical, I can fuck with it. Anything, I've been doing this hip hop for a long time. Like I don't work a nine to five or none of that shit. You know what I mean? And I've, I've been able to do that since 86. 86, I'm 43 years old, 86. I've been able to rock with these motherfuckers and not have to work for nobody. So people should keep in mind that don't get clouded because you can usually become what they think you are. And that could be good and bad. So you have to be in control of what it is. I think with Tupac, he ended up being, his message was so powerful, people got lost in the thug life because they wanted to adopt that concept and rock with that concept. But they didn't really get deep into, some of them did, but not really, he touched a lot of the young boys. Now I respected him for that. This cat's our age now that grew up listening to Pac and he designed their whole personality with his music. So you have to know that when you're talking to somebody with a message that powerful, that there got to be something sharp about them. Some guys have, you know, they party rockers. They throw your hands in the air and they do that shit all night long. When you walk in a room and motherfuckers start going, whoa, 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 yo, yo, you know what I mean? That's when you know you got that gift. It's a blessing from God. Stay focused, everybody.